Okay, so hello guys, wonderful good afternoon everyone. Um, I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this presentation is your friend and your mentor, Habel Kleman. And today we'll be discussing quite a very important topic. Um, and I say it's very important because um, many students really need to hear this information so that their studies can be well equipped. Well, uh, uh, people ask me questions like, well, how do you, how do you uh, study uh, so that you don't really forget uh, a lot of information? Or how do you study so that your mind is able to retain the information that you have grabbed? Okay, so that is a very important question. That is a very important question because usually most of the time we discover that we study a lot of information and when, 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 the, when a test comes or less an, an exam comes, you discover that at the end of it all, you don't really do uh, the need for. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, through with you some uh, uh, important aspects of education or let me say studying that you really need to uh, 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 go through in order for you to become very effective in your studies okay so how do you become sharp or let me say how do you um, help your brain okay remember almost everything or let me say 90 percent of the things that you studied Okay, so basically when you look at the way the human brain has been made, the human brain has been made in such a way that it contains, let me say, billions of brain cells which are capable of, you know, expanding, okay, they are capable of expanding or vibrating knowledge depending with what you feed them with, okay. So you discover that they are capable of, you know, uh, 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 getting a lot of information from different books but the level at which you, you you retain that information maybe after some weeks or after a month or after a year you discover that it differs depending with the consistency in terms of studying okay in each person or in each individual's uh, uh, life of education okay so I was just trying to give you a glimpse of what your brain is all about but then guys you have to understand that studying is not all about studying a lot of information that is why students miss it because students study quite a lot of books at the same time thinking maybe it's gonna help them in their exam but that is not the best way to study the best way to go about your studies is not to study hard, but simply to study smart. Why do we encourage students to study smart? It is because studying smart, you, 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 the energy, or let me say, the time that you, 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 you use for your studies is you know, not really a tantamount to the amount of results that you get. So you discover that when you study smart, you, you use less time, but you produce more results. And when you work hard, you discover that you, you use more time, but produce less results at the end of it all. And that is really very stressful. Okay? So how do you study? The best way to study is simply to understand your mechanism. What do I mean? Mechanism simply means how your body responds to your studies. Usually a lot of students try to compete amongst themselves. You see your friend is studying for three hours, you also want to study for three hours. Okay, so just because um, maybe your friend is going up to six hours, you also want to study for six hours. But that is not the best way to go about your studies. Okay, you need to understand the level of your understanding and at the same time the level at which your brain is capable of grasping concepts. 
you don't have to look at someone else in order for you to uh, 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 adapt to your study environment. No, you need to look within yourself and look at uh, uh, how your body responds to your studies. When you understand the response of your body towards your education or towards your studies, then automatically you will become excellent at the end of it all. So you don't have to study a lot of books at the same time in order for you to become sharp. No, you have to study something that you really know is going to help you at that particular time and in that particular location. Okay, so that is very important. Number two, if you really want to retain information after you study, it is very much important that you consider practice. What, what do I mean when I say practice? You know, you hear quite a lot of people say practice makes perfect. That is very much correct, okay? Practice, of course, makes everything perfect. But how you practice also matters. Usually, a lot of students, you know, they spend their time trying to study things that, of course, they do not know. But it is very important also to go through the things that you know, because it is from the things that you know that you expand your information. So when you are studying, make sure that, uh, 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 you, you, you've seen my pen, this is, so I'm from studying right now, I was from studying. And the way I study, I make sure that when I read whatever I'm reading, I get my pen, and after some time, I'll begin to write accordingly to what I understood concerning that same concept. So if you, are, if you, are, if you, stu if you study your biology, you study your physics, you study your, your chemistry, you make sure that at the end of it all, you try to write something, trying to test your knowledge if surely what you wrote uh, uh, um, is quite, you know, of... of of, 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 of excellency depending with what you were studying. Okay, so that is very, very much important. Number three, make sure that you don't study in one location. Why, why do I say so? You know, it is very much important to study in at least different locations uh, because the way your brain has been meant, you know, the brain has got an ability to mix information. So if, for example, you study chemistry from your room or from your dining table or from your study room, your study table, and you study almost everything from that same location, you discover that at the end of it all, you will forget. Why? Because your brain is able to remember things accordingly to location. So when you study things from different uh, locations, your brain is capable of retaining information. Your brain is capable of remembering. Why? Because the moment you switch your brain to the location that you studied uh, the course from, then automatically you begin to remember things. So it's very much important to do that. Number, number four, make sure you take a lot of water before you study. Take a lot of water. When you take a lot of water, it you know, it makes you at least, you know, fi you, you find yourself uh, attending to, you know, the bathroom or the ablution block or the toilet. So the more you do that, the, the more your body is able to, you know, uh, lose water and gain water, you discover that your brain becomes, you know, refreshed and it's capable of, you know, gaining so much information and at the end of it all, it becomes so, so excellent. Okay, so make sure that you, 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 you organize your work with so much excellency. Make sure that you understand what really I have said. And trust me, if you understand what I have just said and you meditate on it and you put it in practice, congratulations, you have made it in your studies. Thank you so much.